3.5 number 13, our equation here is 4 cosine x times sine y is equal to 1. And M can look at this equation as a product of two functions, 4 cosine x, and then multiplied by sine y is equal to 1. Well, the y is not isolated, I'm going to implicit differentiate it, all right? So I put d dx in the front like that. And since it's a product of two functions, we are going to use the product rule. This is my first, and that's my second. So let's bring it. For the first function, it's 4 cosine x. Nothing changed. And you multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of sine y is going to be cosine, and the inside stays the same. And then you multiply by the derivative of inside, which is y. Right? The derivative of y is it's going to be dy dx. And you add the second function, which is sine y, you just copy it down, you multiply by the derivative of this. The derivative of 4 cosine x is going to be negative 4 sine x. And that's equal to the derivative of 1, which is 0. And now we are going to we are going to isolate the dy dx. This is the part that we want to isolate. Right? So I might well just keep it on the left hand side. And on the left hand side, I just see that I have 4 cosine x, cosine y, dy, dx equals to, this is the negative part, right? This is negative, right? I will take, I can take this to the right hand side and they become positive. It becomes a positive 4 sine x times sine y. And now, as usual, I'm going to divide everything in front of the dy dx. I'm writing this down, cosine x, cosine y, and also the 4 over the 4, the cosine x, the cosine y. So everything here is pretty much cancel out. And finally, there's one little really nice thing right here. dy dx is equal to, I see that the 4 cancels out, that's no big deal. But sine x over cosine x is tangent x. And right here, sine y over cosine y is another tangent y. Very nice.